Hey guys, so I'm here for a hair update on my transition journey. Um, I am about to be four months post relaxer on the 6th of June, 2012. And um, I just wanted to share some things that have been making my transition journey a lot easier. The first thing I want to show is this Carol Starter Olive Oil Infusion Kit. I got this, well I purchased it from Sephora and I think it was like $28, $24 or $28 I don't remember. But yes, I just wanted to talk about this and this has helped me a lot manage my new growth and where the new growth and the relaxed hair meets. It's made it very soft and this oil is like my best friend. It's called the Coherent Almond. So that's what it looks like and it comes with this um, applicator tip that you can put on there to uh, directly apply to your scalp. And it comes with the Crit Amon. Uh, AMM hair smoothie and yeah and this is how it smells really good to me it is really good but yeah the directions on here say you part your hair into four sections and then you apply the oil first to your scalp and when you apply it to your scalp you massage it and pull it through um, to the rest of the hair and then um, you also section the hair and apply the hair smoothly to the rest of the hair all the way down. Um, the thing about this you can try to get a lot out like you can really stick your hand and try to get a lot out but only a little, a little bit will come out I guess that's why it's so full I think if it didn't um, work out like that you know my, my jar would be empty right now. But yeah, I like how it keeps me from getting a lot at one time. Um, and then you let it sit on your hair with a plastic cap for 30 minutes and then you, um, you know, shampoo your hair or co-wash, whatever. I normally use this before I shampoo, only because shampoo really clarifies my hair and uh, I like the way this makes my hair feel afterwards, you know. This makes it really easy to detangle, and I tell you what, I'm rinsing that stuff out. My hair is so soft, like I can literally run my fingers through my hair with this stuff. So this is like my number one favorite transition, um, you know, product. And then I ordered uh, something else I saw on Carol's daughter. It's the transitioning kit that's made purposely for transitioning, the one, two, three step kit. And this is the number one. And all three, it comes with three things and it was $40. And this is the first one. This one is the Purifying Local Cleanser. And you know, it's like a shampoo and it just, you know, cleanses your hair. And it's uh, something, you know, all her products are something free. And um, it helps it detangle and it has biotin in it, which is really good to strip them in your hair and stuff. So I really like this. And all these have like a mint. A very minty scent. It smells really good. It kind of, you know, what I think about it, it kind of smells like um the Vicks rub you put on your chest in the morning time. That's what it smells like to me. But I like minty stuff. So. And then step number two is this renewing scalp spray. And this is my favorite thing about all three of these things is this. I spray this on my scalp after um I put my shampoo and. My and my conditioner and I rinse that out and I just spray this directly on my scalp all over my misogyny and your scalp just gets so cold and cool you can like feel it's like you can feel it penetrating your scalp it feels so good and refreshing it's it's my favorite and I, I use this even after I co-wash too when I'm done rinsing the conditioner out I spray this on my scalp and it feels so good and of course after that then you rinse it out and you know go on to your styling well, this has water coming out of my shower. Get all the water out so it does not mess up on the computer. But step number three is a restoring anti-breakage treatment. 
and it's like this sorry my laptop quality isn't that good but my camera isn't acting right today but um this one um i put on last even after i um put my regular conditioners and after the uh, spray i put this on last and um this really makes my hair soft too and i believe it has the hydrolyzed wheat protein in it no, I can't find it. It's on the bottom. Oh, wrong one. Oh, it's in a closet. But I'll put it in the description what it has in it. I'm looking at the wrong thing. But I believe it has protein in it. It's the ingredients are on the box that it came in. But uh yeah, this one really gets my hair a lot of slip to detangle it. And I learned that it's easier than my transition. It's easier to put conditioner on my hair in the shower and detangle in the shower. I used to just, you know wash my hair in the shower, conditioner, and but I never like detangled. I just, you know, rinse it out back, straight back. And then I would take it out the shower to, to detangle. But now it's easier to have a lot of conditioner on my head and just detangle it all over, you know, in like two sections. So oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Oh that's embarrassing. Excuse me. I don't know how to edit it that out. <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah, so my sweet formants, post relaxer, and um, I've got a nice amount of new growth. Uh, you can't tell, probably gonna have to insert pictures at the end so you can kind of see up close. But um, my favorite hairstyles um, to help me transition, uh, of course, it's the bun, and um, to keep me from pinning so much gel, you know, wearing a straight back like this all the time. To keep me from doing it because I'm noticing, you know, that I'm trying to nurse that back to help. I just um, use my spiral rollers for the front to kind of get the front hair, the front part of my hair, a break from using Eco Solid Gel so much, um, you know. And yeah, another style I use is the banana clip. I had this for years because I can't really find one like this on beauty supply stores. The ones that they have in the beauty supply are like this. And I just don't like this. Like, it comes apart like this and I need the bottom part to stay intact and never come apart. So that's why I like this one. Um, another thing is my mom, she is natural and um, when she wants to wear her hair up, she uses this. And she has a brown one because her hair is red, of course. And, you know, it's kind of when you have your hair back, you know, kind of look like that. But it'd be like right here, whatever. But I really like this one. I had this on at work. Uh, I guess the way the design is, people thought that I had my hair braided up some kind of way in the back. And I had got a lot of confidence with my hair like that. Um, any other styles? I love to use my accessories, my little headbands I get from Portugal or whatever. Um, what other hairstyles? Oh, and I just do like a low line in the back. I do that a lot, especially after I co wash, and you know, I can't think of a style to do when I'm trying to go to sleep. This is at night. Oh, um, you know, I end up doing a low line with a part to the side. Oh, there are like my easy hairstyles. Um, anything else going on? I need to make a video, you know, how I've come to this part about my first half of my journey and um, about the journey I'm on now. I need to do like a hair history video because um, a long time ago I was natural from birth until like the seventh, sixth or seventh grade. I had got my first relaxer, and um, now 2012, I, I'm deciding to go back natural. So wanted to, you know, talk about, you know, decisions and why I chose to be a lecturer in the seventh grade and all that stuff, but why I chose to be like Mitch. So, we're looking out for that video coming up soon, hopefully. And I hope you guys are having a safe summer. And um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.